everyone so this is going to be my birth plan video um, but before I get into it um, I have two things the first one is Lex is officially potty trained um, obviously not at night that's still gonna take a little bit more work but she's officially potty trained during the day which is exciting um, yeah and if you want me to I can do a separate video just let me know uh, down below um, and the second thing is, this birth plan kind of encompasses everything, since we don't know if I'm going to end up with a c-section or vaginal birth. Um, we also don't know if my husband's going to be able to be there. We don't know when I'm going to go into labor, if I go into labor before the scheduled c-section, um, and stuff like that. So it kind of encompasses everything. Also, um, I kind of have it split up into separate categories which is why it took me so long. I did try and film this on Friday but I wanted to actually split it up and put it into parts so it'd be a lot easier to follow. Um, yeah but anyway uh, also my doctor does know everything that's on this list. He's given the okay to most of it. There's a couple things that he hasn't quite signed off on I guess. Um, but anyway so first off amenities I kind of have this written down as things that I'd like just overall um, is I'd like to be able to uh, dim the lights in my room because I hate super bright hospital lights they're very uncomfortable feeling for me um, and I'd like to be able to take pictures and or video during labor and delivery um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be able to happen, but this is one he hasn't quite signed off on yet because we don't know what's going to happen. Um, but he said he'll, you know, he'll look into it and think about it and stuff. So, yeah, those are the two things that I'd really like just the option of, just in general. Um, the next thing is admission procedures. So I'd like to be able to return home if I'm not in, like active labor. Now this would only <laughs> count if I was having contractions and my water didn't break. So yeah. Um, and then once admitted I'd like to be able to eat and drink um, if I want to um, without anybody telling me anything. Um, and I'd like to be able to walk and move around. However, my uh, doctor hasn't quite signed off on the walk and move around because um, if I do happen to go into labor and things were to kind of go downhill and I'd have to have a c-section he'd kind of like for me to already have an epidural um, lock in just so that they can um, put the epidural in so I don't have to be under general anesthesia which I'm completely fine with but that does hinder my walking around ability quite a bit <laughs> Um, the next thing is interventions. Um, as long as both the baby and I are doing fine, everything is great, um, I'd rather have intermittent um, monitoring instead of having the like strapped on fetal monitor. Um, it kind of also goes along with the be able to walk and move around, but uh, I'd also like to be allowed to, pro uh, to progress free of any time restrictions, um, time res constraints, and anything like that. Um, I'd rather not have my labor and delivery put on a schedule if I'm allowed to have a vaginal birth, or if that happens. Um, pain relief. Um, this is kind of one of those things where you don't actually know. But I like to be able to do like acupressure, breathing, massage, um, and be able to jump into a the warm shower. I know I'm not going to be able to labor or deliver in any other way besides on a bed. So um, for pushing, I would like to do, uh, be free of any like obvious time restrictions. I'd like to be able to do it on my own like instinctively. Um, I'd like to be able to do it in whatever position is comfortable for me at the time. However, I know with the fact that you know, I am a VBAC and 
the fact that I might end up having an epi lock in that I might not be able to deliver in any position I am comfortable in. So it's one of those things that I'm open to. Like I said before, all of this is pretty much negotiable as long as a doctor talks to me about it. Um, which is another big thing for me is in my birth plan in general, my doctor knows that I want to have just a ton of communication between us, not just him come in like every, what is it, like hour or whenever they usually like to check on you. No, um, I want him to be able to come in um, like constantly to check on me, to talk to me, make sure everything's doing all right, um, and not just be one of those like hidden doctors that just like pops up when you're in labor. Um, and he knows that and he's definitely willing to do that for me, so. Um, vaginal birth, uh, during delivery, I'd like the room to be quiet. I'm not someone who likes loud rooms when I'm in pain. <laughs> so if I'm able to go naturally like I'm preferring, um, if I do, or if I am able to have a be back, I'd like everything to be quiet. Um, after the birth, I'd like to be able to hold the baby right away, um, putting off any procedures that aren't necessary, I guess. Um, so, you know, they can do all of the um, APGAR stuff, like while the baby's on your chest, they can clean them off on your chest. They don't need to take them away. So I'd like that, if at all possible, obviously. Um, I'd like to be able to breastfeed as soon as possible, which is, I guess, kind of a given. Um, however, this time, if I am able to have a vaginal birth, I would like to be able to wait until the cord stops pulsing. Um, before it's cut, which I hear can take up to like 20 to 30 minutes completely fine with that. My doctor's completely fine with that. He's willing to stick around <laughs> as long as it kind of takes. Um, and if my husband would like to and he's able to be present, I would love for him to be able to cut the cord. However, obviously we have no idea what's going to happen if I go into labor before my due date or before my mom is here. Nobody's going to be able to watch Lex, so it's kind of going to be one of those things where I kind of do it on my own. Um, Alright, so in case of a c-section, pretty much there's only two things that I really prefer. Um, I'd like to breastfeed in recovery, which I was able to do with Lex, however, her mouth was a little bit too small, so, and I've got into that before. Um, and I'd like to, if my husband is there, um, for him to be able to hold the baby af like as soon as she is dried and able to be held. I'd rather not them delay anything else and just let my husband hold her. Um, and we've talked about him doing skin to skin if I have a c-section and he's willing to, how <laughs> however, he's a very hairy guy so he's like, I don't want her to like pull on my hair. And Stuff like that, so that's still up in the air, but I'd like, if he's able to be there, um, for him to be able to hold her as soon as he can. Um, let's see, postpartum-wise, I'd like all newborn procedures to be done in our presence. Um, I really do not want her to be taken to another room. They did that with Lex. Um, they had my husband kind of come with me when I was in recovery, and they kind of took Lex off to like give her her bath and give her her shots and all that kind of stuff. I'd really rather they not do that this time. Um, and I'd like my partner to stay with the baby um, if I'm not able to. And I prefer a private room. However, private room for us is kind of a given. Um, our hospital, I believe, only has private rooms. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'd also like 24 hour room in with the baby no nursery time whatsoever. We did the same thing with Lex and it worked out beautifully. Um, let's see what else. I lost my place. I'd like Lex to be able to be brought in to see us um, as soon as she can. So <laughs> if that happens to be like early morning or whatever and she wakes up, then I'd like her to be in there even if it's not according to visitation hours. Um, my doctor knows this, however, he's not in charge of that. It's actually um, the nurses and stuff who's in charge of that, so I'm hoping they'll allow that to happen. Um, let's see. 
there's not much left on this, so feeding, I'm all exclusively breastfeeding. I do not want them to offer the baby any sugar water formula or even a pacifier. I did allow them to give her Lex a pacifier and some form and some formula because, you know, for one, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> and two, it was really hard for her to have milk and it took them a long time before they brought a pump into my room. So, yeah. Um, if, <laughs> if gender prediction was wrong and Gabby turns out to be a boy, we do not want to circumcise whatsoever, um, and we'd like to be discharged as soon as possible. Um, like I said before, all of this stuff is kind of negotiable as long as my doctor and any medical person, um, discusses it with us, and everything is kind of... A given with c-section I'm completely open to obviously a c-section if things go downhill I'm not going to try and just be like oh well no I want a v-back that's what I'm doing just anything like that as long as everything works out great you know I'm hoping for a v-back if not then I'll have another c-section it's not really a big deal to me um but yeah if you have any questions please put them down below and I will talk to you guys later bye